Hi everyone, my name is Sari and you are watching my YouTube channel and this is my knitting podcast. Um, in today's episode I'm going to be talking about what I have on my needles and also I have a couple of new finished projects since the last time I spoke to you guys and there are also a few new yarns in my stash so I'm going to be showing them to you. I actually I have casted on quite a few new things ever since I last filmed an episode. I Actually I've suffered from a bit of start this lately. Um, that usually happens to me when I when I um, bind off the last stitches from a big project then I don't know what to knit, knit next or I have so much inspiration that has been bubbling um, while I've, I've been finishing the things I have on my needles and then um, I start a lot of projects at the same time. That's just the way I usually work. But um, I'll start with the finished things and then I'll continue to my whips that is works in process. And lastly, I'll show you the new additions to my stash. I hope none of those will stay in my stash for long. Um, even though I've been casting on a lot of things, there's still so many ideas in my head that I would like to um, get on my needles. But I'll start by showing you this sweater. Um, I cast it off actually this morning or I cast it off the last stitches last night, but um, I made all the seams and wove in all the ends this morning, right before I start to film this episode. So you might remember this weather if you have been watching my well, podcast episodes or following me on Instagram. Um, this is the yarn I bought last summer when we were in Greece. Um, Actually, I bought it in Hania from a little yarn shop called Pleco. And if you want to see me visiting that yarn shop, there's an episode. Um, it's, uh, probably episode number nine, I think, where I'm in Greece and I'm visiting that little yarn shop. Uh, so the yarn is called uh, Juniper Moon Farms Moonshine. And the colorway is... Uh, charcoal and I usually enjoy buying new yarn when I'm traveling um, it's the kind of souvenir I like it's something that will will bring me joy for a long time uh, both when I'm knitting with it and then when I'm wearing it so I remember all the places we've been with my wardrobe um, but the downside when you buy yarn from from while while you're traveling is that if you run out of yarn, uh, trying to get the same yarn from in your home country can be a bit tricky, and that happened to me with this project. Um, I had bought six skeins of the yarn in uh, Greece, but I ran out of the last skein. Um, when I had only the last few centimeters left of the second sleeve and also I hadn't done the turtleneck. So I had to order one more skein and that turned out to be a bit more tricky than it usually is because there aren't that many um, places where you can buy Juniper Moon Farms moonshine in Europe and especially not in Finland. So I ended up uh, ordering it online from loveknitting.com. It came pretty fast, but the skein became much more expensive than the ones that I had bought in Greece. Actually, I paid almost double for the last skein compared to the other ones I had bought earlier because of all the postal costs and so on. But I wanted this to become a turtleneck, so I just had to buy the last skein as well. 
Um, this is still unblocked, as I said that I just seamed it and wove in the ends. So as you can see, it still needs the final blocking. But you can already see the design or the main main parts of the design. So it has this all over cable pattern on back and front and also on the sleeves there's the cables on on the top of the sleeves and the rest of the sleeves are in reverse stockinette stitch and then there's this uh, chunky turtle turtleneck this yarn is really warm so i already tried this sweater on earlier today but it was way too hot for me to wear today even though it's already getting colder outside but but this is such a warm sweater that um, we'll have to wait a little bit more for the weather to get colder for me to wear it um, another thing i've been knitting lately um, is this brioche scarf i've shown you here already a few times this is the lighter side of the scarf as you can see it has already grown quite long or longer than it was last time i showed you and this is the dark side of the same same design and there are two stripes already and i'm just started the there's some yarn ends I still have to weave in. Um, I started the third stripe and just joined the last or the second skeins. So I'm pretty much halfway done with this um, this scarf. These are the colors I'm using. This one is uh, Hedgehog Fibers Skinny Singles, and the colorway is called Serial. It has these um, speckles of dark green and purple and rust or ochre and the second yarn I'm using is um, Tosh Marina Light from Madeline Tosh and the colorway is bittersweet and it also has the same kind of dark, um, dark green and uh, purple and rusty rusty color so here you can see them both together what else um, I have finished these socks you might remember I started knitting these in um, on the same Greek holiday that I bought this yarn from but um, I only finished one sock and then I, when I started to knit the second sock, I got stuck at the heel. Uh, I, for some reason I wasn't inspired to knit the heels, so it was uh, left in my, my knitting basket for a couple of months. And only now I just picked them up and decided to finish them. It's October after all. So here's a pair of uh, very basic socks. I've actually I noticed that people have different uh, ideas what is a basic sock, but this is my basic sock. So it's top down from cuff to toes with a rainforest heel flap. And the yarn I used for this is from Studio Mies and um, this is the fawn sock set so it has has one big skein of this uh, caramel colored um, speckled yarn and two mini skeins one of this um, grayish blue and one of this mint green to um, make contrasting cuffs and heels and toes uh, usually when i start knitting socks um, I get this like sock knitting bug or um, I, I never knit just one pair of socks. I usually I 
when I start to knit socks, I knit more than one pair and that happened to me again this time. And here's another pair of socks I have recently finished. Um, this yarn is from Annabelle Williams and it's um, also a sock set. So it has this um, purple skein of the main color and then a mini skein of um, this orange and the colorways are, are called purple basil and peaches and honey and Annabelle uses uh, ethically sourced yarns for her her yarns and she dyes them by hand uh, with natural dyes so I presume that's, that this is dyed with purple basil but I'm not sure what she used for the orange parts um, Probably not peaches and honey, but you never know. Um, and I started actually one more pair of socks after this. Another very basic sock. And here's the first, first sock. Um, I'm using Red Rosaria Mondim, the hot pink colorway for the cuff and toes. And the rest of the socks is from Hedgehog Fibers. The, their sock yarn and the colorway is called teacup and it has the same uh, color pink speckles as I used for them or the color I used for the cuffs so I think they go very well together and the, my sock blockers aren't they cute uh, they are from the knitting shed and they are by Ainsworth and Prim and I can post the name and the link to this shop below this video so you can check them out. These are absolutely the cutest sock blockers I have ever seen. They are actually, they are made of wood. You can see better on the other side. They look like this. And they make me so happy every time I see them. Um, I'm currently knitting the second sock it's here on my needles and once again I'm stuck at the heel so I should just start knitting the heel and then I know that the rest of the soap would just like fly off my needles especially when I'm knitting with these mini circular needles these are uh, the mini circulars from Haya Haya and they are 23 centimeter long I think that is 9 inches and the needle size is 2.5 millimeters and these are really great for knitting small circular small things in um in a round um especially if you just have like plain stockinette stitch it might take a little bit of time to find the perfect placement for your fingers but when you once you get the hang of it it's it goes so fast to knit with this however I have noticed that um, it's it's not that easy to knit um, cables or I have hard time purling with these to be honest um, I usually I knit a lot tighter than I purl so I have noticed that my purling becomes even more loose when I knit with this one. So usually for the heels and such I change to magic loop and then I'll change back to these mini circulars when I'm going on with the instep. Last summer when I first showed you these mini circular needles, um, there was somebody commenting about um, or asking about them and I have decided to make um, a little review video um, where I will be showing you the ups and downs or comparing um, different techniques for small circumference knitting. One will be these uh, mini circle needles then I will compare it with Magic Loop DPNs and I just bought these uh, Addy um, 
adding needles that are like this. There are. Let me show you. So there are three, three of these now kind of bendy needles. I haven't tried these yet. Like I said, I just bought them. So I'm really excited to try yet another way to knit socks. Let's see which one I like the most and then I will make a little review as I said and tell you all about it. But that's the stuff that I have finished um, or I hadn't finished the, the brioche scarf but, but um, it's something that you have seen already earlier. Now let me show you the new things I have cast it on. Um, the first one is... which one should I pick? Let's pick this one. Here's my second Klein sweater or the very humble beginnings of it. Um, this is the first sleeve. I decided to knit the sleeves before, before um, the body this time. And this is a very beautiful dark green um, color. And actually you can see me wearing my first climb pullover. This is one of the sweaters that I have used the most um, ever since I finished it last summer. And it has started to peel quite a lot even though I try to use the machine that uh, takes away all the pills, I feel, feel like I have to um, go through it every time I want to use it. So I decided to knit a second one and the yarn I'm using for this is um, GGH Wally Wash. I bought this in Berlin last summer um, already. I was still knitting the first climb, but I was already in love with it at that time. So um, last year or a year ago during the summer when I was in Berlin, I kind of knew already that I wanted to knit a second climb. So I bought this yarn for it, but I just haven't had time to cast on. And now I decided to finally do it. So here is my second climb pullover coming up. The pattern is by Julie Hoover and it's really, um, I think it's really great. It's kind of like a raglan pullover, but it, it still isn't a raglan pullover and it has these dolman sleeves. So the sleeve construction is um, quite unusual when they are um, before seaming, they almost look like diamonds, so that the shape is like really um, unusual, like I said. And somehow it just it works. It's really great uh, when you are wearing it. I, I absolutely I love it, like I said. So here's my second client coming up. It's always fun to knit somebody else's designs every now and then you get new ideas and learn new technique and and Julie Hoover is one of my favorite designers ever I really love her style she she knows how to make those um, really minimalistic designs that I love and something that I would like to learn more I have a second green pullover also on the needles. If you have watched my um, previous episode about Scotland, you have seen this yarn already earlier. So this is from the Ginger Twist Studio and this is Ginger's hand dyed sheepish Aran and the colorway is called Voyager. It, it's, a beautiful, it's a really beautiful color when it's bright like today. It, it almost looks like this like jewel tone but when it gets darker and less less light it becomes like a really um, deep green and in some other lights it might even look like petrol uh, bluish so I really love this color and it's such a joy to knit with 
and I can show you here from my French bag what I've been knitting with it. It's becoming a pullover with this um, kind of um, lattice stitch or what you would call it one over one cables making this like crossing and it's going to be a new pullover for me and if you have been following me um, previously you might have noticed that I usually like knitting with smaller needles like 3 millimeters or 3.5 those two are probably my most used needle sizes I also knit a lot of socks and hats with 2.5 millimeters so I'm definitely um, small needle kind of girl and when I bought this yarn I was thinking about knitting it with 4.5s or 5s but um, or 5 millimeters but when I started this swatch I actually realized that I need bigger needles and um, as I told you I like knitting with smaller needles so I had to go and buy a couple of new needles because I didn't have the right needle sizes so um, I knitted the uh, ribbing with 5.5 millimeters and this um, main part I'm working on needle size 6 millimeters so these are like huge needles for me and actually I like it uh, the, the project is coming along really quickly so it's a quite nice change notice that even though you only have time to knit a couple of rows you have progressed uh, a few centimeters on that on those few rows when compared to smaller needles um, you would only get one centimeter for every maybe four rows five rows or even more so this is something that I've been enjoying knitting lately another new project uh, I guess <laughs> I have tested on many new things um, I got the chance from the Shibu Knits to try their new their, their yarns and um, I chose to knit with uh, Silk Cloud because even the name the name Silk Cloud it sounds so gorgeous and it really is every bit as uh, gorgeous as the name implies so I'm um, knitting it with together with um, Shibu in its Sima and so this is the Silk Cloud and this is Sima and holding these two yarns together they're both uh, the colorway ash and this um, um, silk cloud it is 60% kit mohair and 40% silk and sima is 70% super baby alpaca and 30% fine merino so absolutely gorgeous yarns and my initial thought was to knit a very simple v-neck pullover with them but after I had finished the back side of the pullover um, I decided that my wardrobe actually needs um, a cardigan more than a v-neck I actually I have a, one pretty similar colored uh, cashmere v-neck in my, my wardrobe so I decided to change my plans and make um, a very classic um, cardigan instead. As you might know already, if you have been following my designs, um, I usually my designs start with um, the thought that um, what I myself really want to wear. So it's very personal for me, and and. The, what I make is something that I usually something that I want to wear and what I need in my wardrobe so that's why I'm needing a, a grey cardigan instead of yet another grey v-neck sweater that I already own so here is the back side of this uh, cardigan it is very simple just like plain stockinette stitch and ripping at the bottom you can see the texture it is super light it is super soft um, it is absolutely heaven heavenly 
yarn to work with, I uh, can't recommend it more. And I have started to knit the first front. So here we go. This is how much I have knitted. There will be the, the neck band over here and the other side. And it will have also the, the same idea that I have thought previously. So it will have quite a low v-neck and very classic shape. Um, there are a couple of uh, other new projects on my needle, but I can't share them with you just yet. I've been knitting uh, quite a many hats, but they are samples for publications um, um, of upcoming designs that I can't talk to you just yet. But as you know, um, when I get um, the go ahead to share those projects, you will be the first ones to know. There are exciting things coming up, that's all I can say. But um, in the beginning, I mentioned that I have bought a few new yarns, so I will end this video by showing you what I have in my stash. Um, the first one I will show you is these two skeins that um, I bought from the yarn shop TT2's uh, Feel It Yarn Club. So they are hosting these three different yarn clubs um, over this autumn, and the first one. Um, the yarns came for sale in, I think it was in August, and this came in my mail a couple of weeks ago. So they are doing the yarn club with Line Magazine. The girls from Line put up a mood board, and then uh, there are always two um, yarn dyers that uh, will get inspired by that mood board and make um, one of a kind yarn especially for the yarn club. So it's kind of a mystery yarn club as well. You don't really know what you are buying um, when the yarn club um, comes uh, on sale. So, but th this was actually my first time ever buying anything like a mystery yarn and, and I didn't know what I was expecting. But the result of that yarn club um, is so much prettier than I was uh, Imagining. So these are from Hedgehog Fibers and the Vogue Collection. This is the Vogue Collection Cozy Marina in the Yarn Club colors. And this is also like one of a kind or potluck colors. This actually this also has the same kind of blue. Let me see where, where it's. Here you can see more blue inside the skein. But this is definitely more pink than this one, although they have very similar pink colors on both, both skeins. Um, I've been thinking about knitting um, another, um, another brioche scarf with this, but as you can see um, for this one I already using second skeins of both colors, so I won't be able to knit a similar scarf with these, these two skeins. But there was this one lovely person I uh, met on Instagram who was willing to sell me her two skeins. Or the colors weren't really like her colors, like I said, so she decided to sell me her yarns. So I will get a second set of these two skeins to knit my previous scarf with and I'm really excited about that. Can't wait to get my, my second skeins. There's um, the second yarn club from TT2 is already on sale and it's it has um, skein queen but I can't remember what the other yarn dyer was but at that time I decided to pick the sock version so I will receive two sock yarns and I think it's um, or it's easier to find projects for sock yarns because for one pair of socks you only need one skein instead of um, having of these merino single yarns uh, one of each color uh, it's harder to find suitable projects for them so the last um, 
new yarn I'm going to show you is this uh, beautiful um, coppery colored yarn I bought from Camille Lavard. And you might remember Camille Lavard um, best by her Magnolia sweater that was in Line Magazine's issue number four last winter. And this is her signature lamb, lamb's wool yarn. And the colorway is called Messing, which means like brass. So I bought four skeins of this and I'm going to knit another sweater for myself. So like I said, I'm really into brioche knitting. So I'm thinking about the brioche sweater with like one color brioche sweater with this yarn. Like a ripped, ripped pullover. And Camilla was so kind that she actually she included um, uh, one extra skein for me in my order for a hat project maybe. I was actually, I was thinking about making mittens with this. This is the same uh, colorway as is this, this um, basic lamb's wool. Uh, so the, it's uh, also the missing colorway, but this is her lamb's wool. Line. Uh, 9 slash 3 so it's a bit different from this basic lens wool and this basic version has 450 meters per 100 grams and this is a slightly uh, thicker yarn with 300 grams on 100 300 meters per 100 grams so this is probably going to turn into mittens for myself it's absolutely gorgeous, the color and the yarn, both. But that's everything I have for today. Um, I have shown you quite a lot of things today. Um, a few finished objects and a lot of unfinished <laughs> things, as well as yarn that will still become um, yet another project for my needles. But maybe in the next episode I have something else to show you. I hope um, I'll finish the Brio scarf very soon. And there will be a call for test knitters pretty soon for uh, the, the dark, dark grey pullover. So if you are interested in this one, keep following my Instagram account and my Ravelry group for the call for test knitters. I'm trying to get it out next week. But I hope you will have a lovely day and see you soon.